The Rockworks Earth Apps is a collection of tools used for the creation of Google Earth diagrams based on data stored in the Earth Apps datasheet. This datasheet is a spreadsheet style data window designed to store various types of data. Some examples of data that could be stored in this datasheet include location information for creating point maps, strike and dip data, and polygon information representing claims or other types of boundaries. This video will cover importing data into the datasheet to create a simple circle map, and will then show you how to work with a sample file to create a cylinder diagram. First, browse to the Earth Apps Samples project directory by selecting the Open Existing Project item from the Project Folder pull-down menu. The Project Folder is where your RockWorks data files will be stored, as well as any KMZ files created by the program. Data can be imported into the Earth Apps data sheet through the file menu, or it can be copied and pasted from an Excel file. In this case, I'll import data from an Excel file containing some information on petroleum wells in the Gulf of Mexico. Once the data is imported, you should establish the units for columns that contain location and length information. To do this, right-click on the column titles to open the Column Parameters dialog box. To create a circle map with circles both colored and sized based on a specific parameter, go to Point, Circles, Proportional. In the resulting window, you'll see a place to specify input columns on the far left, a list of menu options to the right of that, and an instruction panel on the far right. I'll match up my input columns. Make some adjustments to the menu options and click on the Process button. Google Earth should appear and display the circles. If you'd like to make a change to the diagram, then you should return to the RockWorks program, make the adjustments in the menu, and click on the Process button again. Now, let's open up one of the existing RWDAP files in the samples directory. To do this, expand the project manager on the left side of the window and view the list of data files stored within the project folder. I'll double click to open the Cylinders Advanced 01 file, which contains the locations of DEW radar sites, as described in the metadata panel to the right. I'll go to Point, Cylinders, Advanced, and we'll then load the recommended menu settings for this data file by going to Menu, Load from RCL. After these are loaded, you can see that the program is referencing various columns in the data sheet for the cylinder radius, height, and color. I'll click on the Process button, and the cylinders should be displayed in Google Earth. I can double-click on a specific item in the list on the left to fly to that object. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Earth Apps videos covering this exciting new feature in RockWorks 16.